Hey everybody, it's uh, Phil Goyet here with the Philly Games YouTube channel. And uh, today we're going to do a quick unboxing of a game I received last week, which is GMT Games Fire in the Lake. So this one just came to delivery in Europe from uh, the GMT Games P500 uh, reprint list. Uh, and it's Fire in the Lake, Insurgency in Vietnam. The game's designed by Mark Herman and Volko Runke, and it's the fourth game in the Coin series, which Volko started, uh, Counterinsurgency series. Uh, published by GMT Games, it's the third printing, um, and then, of course, artwork by the great Roger McGowan, the legend of the wargaming artwork, and it comes in the nice deep dish GMT game box, which is very nice. Um, well, I think it's very nice. You can fit everything in there nice and snug, no problem. Um, so let's pop the box open and do a quick unboxing and see what we get inside. All right, we're greeted by the playbook first. And I did have a peek, and I wanted to pop to something in the playbook that was very interesting. Um, I have fam familiar, I'm lucky enough to have familiarity with the game because I play in a local group which has played five or six competitive campaign games. But a very cool chart I saw in the playbook here depicts the four factions in the game and how their actions impact each other. <clears throat> uh, it's called Faction Interactions by Mike Owens. And what you do is you read the acting faction on the left. Like if we start at the top left corner, the acting faction would be the United States. And then the affected factions on the top. So if you look the United States, how they affect the NVA faction. Uh, you can see there's a number of operations and special activities you can do, which will impact the victory conditions of the other factions in the game. Uh, in other words, this chart shows you how you can either support the other factions you're playing against or with, or how you can trip them up as the game goes on. So this chart's really handy, and it shows you kind of the density of the interactions of the different factions in the game. But anyway, I thought that was a cool thing included in the playbook on top of the other goodies you usually get from GMT. So you get a nice playbook, uh, 52 pages, which is excellent. Um, and then you get <clears throat> your rules of playbook, Fire in the Lake specific, Coin Series Volume 4 Rules of Play. And this checks in at 28 pages. Um, but there's a lot of illustrations and whatnot, so it's not all text. Typical GMT layout, two columns per page. Lots of colored text and pictures and whatnot. Um, and then you get the, what I call the menus, but these are like the player aids for each faction, which tells you the operations and special activities you can perform um, and all the details of, of each of those. You can almost, once you get comfortable with the game, play with these menu cards, as I call them. And uh, it's a fold-out like a menu, so you have the Viet Cong, the Arvin, our Republic of Vietnam forces, uh, the United States, and the North Vietnamese Army. And there's four of these, so each player will have one in front of them during the game, so they can check what their opponents are doing. Uh, then you get non-player U.S. solo solitaire bot cards. Uh, this is in the menu format as well. You get an NVA a VC, and an Arvin non-player bot instructions. And you get two copies of these. And then we get uh, more instructions to play Solitaire with, including how to move randomly around the map, uh, and another column of details of non-player coup round procedures. Uh, then you get a sequence of play card for the multiplayer game, which has a lot of details on how you execute uh, the sequence of play, each card play. But then it gives you also the whole procedure to go through the coup card when that comes out for the coup card round. Um, and our group just works with this player aid. It works very well to work through the coup card round. So you actually get two of those. And on the flip side of that is just some more detailed player aid stuff, spaces, lists, cities, lines of communication, force pool. You probably won't refer to that much, but if you had any questions, it's there. Uh, and then you get one counter sheet 
front and back of the counter sheet. Not a very counter intensive game. Uh, my overflow counters did kind of pop out. <clears throat> they were like that when I got it. But there's the counter sheet. And then you get your map, which is mounted. Pop that out. Set up here for you. Single sided mounted map, uh, eight panels, and it covers all of South Vietnam from the north uh, and the Quezon base, basically, uh, down south. To the Delta through Saigon to the Delta, um, with Laos and Cambodia forming the western half of the map or the left hand side of the map, uh, and then you get available forces boxes for each of the four factions printed right on the map. Uh, you have your usual record track for victory points and resources, uh, and then you get the box depicting the status of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Which is important for the game uh, and then you get the out of play u.s casualties section here for u.s forces which is also very pivotal uh, and then on the bottom right is the sequence of play it's printed on the board which you use to actually work through the sequence of play while you're playing the game inside the box you get a uh, insert depicting an air cav fair mobile uh, u.s helicopter group uh, I usually pitch these inserts because I find them difficult to deal with, but uh, it's in there. Uh, and then you get your cards, which come to the game. Starting with card one is the Gulf of Tonkin incident and resolution, which kicked off the war in real life. Uh, and then your final card is card number 130, which is one of the coup cards. So 130 cards, typical GMT quality. I don't sleeve them. Just roll with it. I don't think they need to be sleeved, but you can if you want, or if you're concerned about nicking up the back of them and identifying cards or something. It does, it's actually not super crucial in this game, but um, so two stacks of cards. You get your bag of bits uh, for each faction printed. Uh, those are the VC counters. So you can see where they've been activated, star side up, bases, you've got pawns to mark. Uh, regions you want to act within um, so all your bits are there big bag of wood uh, you get some spare baggies to store your things in your bits if you'd like I'm gonna go for a counter tray myself and then uh, you get three dice not very dice intensive games so you don't use these very frequently but uh, they're good quality your typical GMT large uh, rounded corner dice so that's what you get in the box, Fire in the Lake, South Vietnam holding on. So uh, very excited to get this one going on the table again soon, maybe try out the solo bots. Uh, but thanks for watching, that was a quick unboxing of GMT Games, Fire in the Lake.